I'm going to take a ride to go to this uh, small city and see how is the experience of uh, riding these old trains that pass the Yeah, those are the old ones. This is a piece of history of China. I was making the video in the other car and one of the security officers approached to me and told me and that you cannot make a video. Mm. Hello everyone and right now I'm here in Luohu station in Shenzhen about to take a train to uh, the small town of Heiyuan here in Guangdong province. I'm very excited because I'm about to take uh, the one of the first generations of trains actually that started functioning here in China and I'm pretty excited because I'm right now used to the high-speed trains but these old trains I believe at some point they will start disappearing because uh, yeah, of course, the new generation of trains, which are the high-speed trains, are taking over now. And those are faster and more convenient to use than these ones. I'm going to take a ride to go to this uh, small city and see how is the experience of uh, riding these old trains that has decades and decades functioning and uh, communicating the whole country. I'm right now in Luohu district. This is uh, also one of the oldest districts in Shenzhen. And actually this station is not as big as the newest ones. I believe when they built and planned this train station here, they were not counting that the city will grow up that fast and that much as it is right now. So the station looks and feels a little bit outdated, but still working pretty well. And I'm just gonna go inside to try to find my train because in a few minutes I should start boarding the train. The station doesn't feel as new and as massive as other huge train stations here in Shenzhen like uh, Shenzhen North or Futian Station. Even compared to other huge stations I've been to before like uh, Guangzhou South or Shanghai Hongqiao, which are massive huge uh, train stations that can actually ride the new high-speed train. But this station was not built for high-speed trains. This station is mostly for the first generation of trains that were built in China. Those green trains that I'm about to take today to the city of Poyuan. It will take around two and a half hours and it's a route that will soon be operated by high-speed trains. Actually, the information that I got is uh, next month they're gonna open a new route from Shenzhen to Poyuan that will connect in only one hour. So I don't know how does it work. I don't know if maybe they will stop this route that is it's operated by the regular uh, traditional green trains. So right now I'm just gonna go to a KFC that I found here to take uh, some snacks. We're gonna be a two and a half hours ride all the way to Huiyuan. I feel like I'm going to start a uh, travel in time. I'm going to be traveling in time in a few minutes because these are definitely not the trains that I'm used to. They're not as new, but still lovely. I think, I don't know, I'm very excited about boarding these old trains right now. Yeah, those are the old ones. This is a piece of history of China.
already on board of the train and this definitely looks different. Um, I've heard there's some trains they don't have air conditioning but this one has. It's fine because it's summer and if they don't have air conditioning it's going to be super hot. At least I'm glad they have they have it. The seats looks quite different. The configuration is 3 by 2 only. I think they're a little bit more narrow than high speed trains. High speed trains are a bit wider and the configuration for second class seats is 3 by 3. I am having a economy class ticket because when I was purchasing the ticket there was no more available. Apparently there are a lot of people living in that city. Today is Friday so a lot of people are going back home probably in this town. I'm gonna experience the regular traditional first generation trains of China. I'm in the middle seat. I wanted to have at least a window seat but that's not gonna be possible. Probably later I can move but I'm not sure and it's quite quite crowded right now there's still more people coming and coming so probably there won't be any other uh, available space or another seat for me to change later I'm ready I got my KFC chicken I got my computer and let's do that So this is basically the restaurant card. You can see all the tables and the people basically come here to order their food like a regular restaurant card in any train. Uh, I believe we have several dishes. I didn't really check the menu because it's all in Chinese, so I don't really understand much. But I was just passing by to take a look. It looks very uh, classic, quite different from the modern high-speed trains that we have right now in China. So this is being a very lovely experience going around uh, this train. Uh, some people are really curious, like they're asking you why you're making a video. Uh, I believe this is not something they will see every day here in uh, this kind of trains. They told me this is not the oldest kind. Their older ones are even older. I told you even without air conditioning. But for me, it's uh, just like quite interesting uh, coming around. I was making the video in the other car, and one of the security officers approached me and told me and that you cannot make a video, um, which I found very weird because I've done many times already in different high-speed trains. So I told her that I'm just making a vlog for a channel and she seems okay with that. Uh, I'm not sure why she told me you cannot make a video here, but uh, I think it's fine. I just saw one of the security on board uh, went all around the different cars yelling the name of the station because apparently these trains do not have a speaker system so there's a person who goes all around the train saying out loud the name of the station we just arrived to Dongguan Dong, Dongguan East yeah, I think we're gonna stay just here for a couple of minutes and then just keep going. There's still one more hour and a half ahead until I get to Taiwan. But so far so good, I'm enjoying this right here. I just came here outside to take a look to the Dongguan East Station and there's actually a um, manual check for everybody's IDs. These machines they have right now, they're checking their IDs. They couldn't check mine because mine is a passport, so they did not have it. There's still more people boarding the train right now and I'm going inside before they leave me. <laughs>
these are the toilets here. No regular base, no toilet seat. This is kind of toilet that I'm not really used to. So, not here, not now. Well, this has been it. We are almost arriving to the Yuan. It was two and a half hours train ride, which I enjoyed, I will say, half of it, because the second half I was so tired, and being in the middle seat, you cannot rest. I was trying to work on my computer, but there's no table in front of me, so I have my computer on my lap all the time. I tried to watch some episodes of Friends on my iPad, but I didn't bring my earphones. I forgot them at home. Here we are in Hoiyuan, finally I can take my mask off for a few minutes because it was two hours and a half a ride wearing the mask and I was like, I can't breathe. But finally I'm here, now I need to go down and take a taxi. This was a very a very special ride in the old-fashioned trains from China. Uh, some of the first generations of the trains that they uh, started operating here in Connect in southern China. It was a little bit too long to be honest. Uh, next time I think I will take the high-speed train I think there's nothing compared to the comfort and the speed and the practicity of a high-speed train of China. These ones are okay for a short ride, like the one I did, but not for long rides. I have friends who told me they've been in these kind of trains like for 16, 18 hours. That's so long time to be sitting down in those chairs that are not that comfortable. But for this one, it's just two and a half hours, that was okay. It was a special ride. Now it's time to go home. Let me know what you think about the video in the comments down below. I will leave the links to the other videos I made about the trains here in China. If you've ever been to these kind of trains before here, or the new kind, let me know how was your experience. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next time. Bye bye. Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day today and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow-up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching, stay safe until next time.